skills. Um, today I'm going to show you how to take a picture using a camera just set on auto um, or using your cell phone. So this can be an iPhone, Android, whatever phone you have. Um, the other thing that I want to point out is being able to take a picture anywhere, in your house, outside, um, obviously I'm in my classroom, so how to take a good picture anywhere with any um, with <laughs> with any device. Um, so I have Olivia here. She's going to pose for me. Um, I'm going to point out just a couple things about lighting, and um, then you should hopefully be able to get a good picture. So um, right now we're standing by the windows. Um, a good light source is going to be filtered light. So what that means is if you have, um, if you're standing by a window, you want there to be some kind of covering, whether that's a sheer, um, sheer curtains or blinds are not ideal because they're going to put that kind of, um, you know, horizontal lines of light coming through on your subject, which you wouldn't want. Um, so you just want to make sure it's an constant, even light. If you are in a room that doesn't have a window, you want to make sure you get your subject by a light source, but you don't want it to be too harsh. So you don't want it to be where when you take the picture and you're looking on your phone or on your camera, you don't want their face to be what's called blown out or overexposed where it's really, really white and you can't see the details. That is something that is very, very, very difficult to try to correct later on in Photoshop. Um, so if Olivia moves, um, we're gonna see if we can actually stay right there. I'll see if I can get this light to come in. So right now, um, the light that's coming in, because it's coming through blinds, it's a little bit harsh, um, a little too bright and uneven on her face. So if there were, um, if there were like a sheer window panel in front of it, that's going to soften the light. It's still gonna give you enough light, but it's not gonna make it as bright. So right now, this side of her face is in shadow and this is way too bright. So sometimes we do dramatic lighting, but um, just trying to get a good picture, especially for a composite, this is not it. So if I lower it down some, you can see, again, I'm still getting enough light so that it's nice and even, but there aren't any weird lines from the blinds. The same thing happens with trees. If you think you're in the shade, but sometimes the light comes through the tree, um, you know, the leaves and the branches, then it ends up looking spotty on your subject. Um, just trying to see if we had any of that kind of uneven light shining through. Move over just, um, move over that way. You might be out of the screen. A little bit more. See that patch of light right there? No, you're not. <laughs> here, come back over here. So um, when you're taking the picture, oops, yeah, there, right, we caught it. Let's step back a little bit. A little bit more. So you can see, this is perfect. Um, on her face, um, the little bit of light coming through right here, this is exactly what I'm talking about. And it's moving. Obviously the clouds are moving and stuff, so it's gonna move. But that is unwanted light right there. So you wanna make sure it's even. Um, so as for taking a picture with your cell phone, again, just make sure you have even light, your subject is holding still. Um, you wanna pull your subject away from the background. So the further they are away from the background, the easier that is if you're making a composite or if you're sending a picture to me to create a composite, if they are away from their background, it is much easier to cut them out of that picture and put them into um, a new one. Also, the more distracting the background, the harder it is to cut your subject out. Um, so a solid wall behind them is ideal, especially something that they're not gonna blend into. Um, that's why a green screen is common because it's the most contrasting color. Uh, so like all these jars of beads behind her, that's a little distracting, but she's far enough away that I could cut her out, okay? But I, <laughs> that sounds so, so violent. Um, so I would pick a solid wall, make sure that you have a good light source, an even light source, you do not want to see any shadows, and that your subject is holding still when you're taking the picture. Um, so right now, when I take her picture, I would want to get somewhat away from her. A lot of times if you get too close, um, people sometimes don't think about using their zoom, they just scoop up closer to the picture, and what that can do is distort 
the um, subject. So you might not realize that, but the lens, because of the shape of it, if you get too close, your person actually um, becomes distorted. So it's one of those minor details, but it does make a difference. So make sure you're away enough from your subject. Good light source, plain background, not something like this. Um, and just make sure that your subject is holding still. So hopefully that gives you enough tips for getting a successful, simple picture anywhere in your house, office, wherever. So thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.